Than 130,000 acres have burned in Marion County. Half a dozen towns have been evacuated. Right now, several more are on level two. Be set to go alert. Jenny Young, live at the state fairgrounds tonight, where evacuees have been taking shelter. What's the latest, Jenny? All right, so this is the Red Cross Emergency Services Center here at the fairgrounds, Jeff. Across the street in the Expo Center, they have caught set up, but not a lot of people staying inside there because this is the middle of COVID and they can't do like a traditional Red Cross shelter. So here in the parking lot, we saw dozens and dozens of cars earlier today who were parked waiting for the Red Cross to put them in motel rooms, but you see there are probably a dozen to maybe two dozen RVs out here, people staying in their RVs. I've even seen some tents. For the people who had to evacuate, it's just a waiting game now. It's kind of scary because yes. there's just a fire heading right towards us. Limes and Mill City and Gates is on fire. I had my medication and I walked out the door and I ain't been back home since. Wildfire threatening homes on the eastern side of Marion County. It's shocking, isn't it? You can't it's breathe. Scary. It really is scary. As thousands of people evacuate, many of them have come here to the Oregon State Fairgrounds, where the Red Cross has set up an emergency center. We have snacks, pet food, toys for kids, those things here on site. But as we learn more about them and what their needs are going to be, we'll work to create uh, those opportunities for them so we can get them those resources. We just brought medication that we needed and a few odds and ends. Glennis and Doug Masterson and their dog Dolly evacuated their home in Lyons around 6 this morning. We're worried about our house because it's down by O'Neill Park. Have you ever seen anything like this? No. No. Nobody I've talked to has either around here. Sue and Stuart Hurst left their home in Lyons shortly after 2 a.m. They were parked at the fairgrounds for more than 16 hours waiting while the Red Cross helped them get a motel room. We got our stuff packed in there, our medicines, our clothes, you know, things that we need. Joyce Jackson told us she didn't leave her home in Silverton until this afternoon. Like most of the people parked here, she's waiting to find out where she'll stay tonight. Okay, so we are staying in close touch with emergency management officials here in Marion County as this situation continues to evolve. The sheriff's office says they have no idea when these folks will be able to return to their home. But what they do know, they want people to stay alert uh, to those evacuation notices. Make sure you are receiving those on your phone. Download uh, the app if you don't have it, and especially those who are at level two, be set to go. The sheriff's office really wants you to know be ready to evacuate. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin Six News. Jenny.